Welcome to the Start Empire Wire Founders Podcast, where we make entrepreneurial founders a top priority. Each episode features risk takers, business builders, community shapers, institutional and government supporters, and our local startup ecosystem. Tune in weekly to hear all about what's happening with the movers and the shakers of Southern California's Inland Empire and beyond. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the Founders Podcast. I am Varys Smith III, and today I am sitting with Robin Mansell of Evolve Business Center. I'm going to let Robin introduce herself and give you information about who she is, and then we'll move forward into the interview. All right, Robin. Hey, Varys. Hi, everyone. My name is Robin Mansell. I am the CEO of Evolve Business Development Center. We are a nonprofit uh, in the Inland Empire, and we are working with small business owners, in particular, your um, disadvantaged women, minority businesses. And our goal is to help those business owners create a sustainable business that takes them decades into the future. I love it. So Robin and I actually, you know, go way back and just um, recently when Robin told me about the pivot that she had in her business, I was really excited about it. And it's, um, she, Robin actually has lots of experience with uh, in the small business space and in the, the trading space. So one of the first things I want to ask you, Robin, is tell us a little bit about the spark what was that idea that sparked um what you guys are doing with evolve business center right now so i've been an entrepreneur various for um 30 years now um i left corporate america i know right yeah uh, I, I left corporate america in the middle of a divorce with small children and we didn't have all the resources that we have now but I left because I wanted my time back. I needed the freedom. And the spark for me has always been solving a problem. Anything that I've done, I've been a serial entrepreneur those 30 years, but it's really been about solving problems and helping people get to where they need to be, providing them with information. So. Now what we're doing is even more powerful to me because I'm back where I actually started and that is helping helping business to business or B2B as they call it. So um, just being able to support people and help them get the information they need, that's always been very, very important to me. I love it. So Robin, you have an amazing story. Go ahead and take us back. Tell us a little bit about who you are as a person, where you grew up, what led you to the place where you wanted to even become an entrepreneur and create a startup? So I I um, grew up originally in South Central LA. Uh, my parents both worked outside of the home, but we lived in an area that was very much filled with families and community. Um, and when things started to change, my parents said, hey, it's time to move. <laughs> so uh, they moved us out to the Inland Empire is where here I am now. I started in Diamond Bar. My parents moved us from an 800 square foot house to like a 3000 square foot house. So I always saw my parents work hard. My parents are very, very hard workers, um, very positive people. So when I decided I wanted to be an entrepreneur because I didn't have anybody in the family that was doing that, the one thing I will say is that my parents never discouraged me. Awesome. Never. They never discouraged me. Um, they were always open to the information or open to the possibilities. Hmm. And that really came through with all of us. So um, I started doing, you know, kind of dabbling a little bit in the entrepreneur space. But then when I was working at the phone company and they changed my hours and it, it meant that I was going through a divorce, it meant that my kids were going to have to get picked up at a different hour, I just knew that I had to do something different. Mm -hmm. And so I left the phone company, gosh, 30 years ago, and I went from getting a paycheck every week, knowing just how much money I'm gonna make to 1099, commission only. <laughs> and I did that in the midst of that divorce and um, having small children. 
I always tell people, if I don't hunt, I don't eat, right? I love it, yeah. <laughs> so, so I did a number of things. I actually did a number of things, but um, I tried, I was out there trying to see what it is that I wanted to do, and I really have been a serial entrepreneur. Um, mm. There's a lot of opportunity out there, and if I saw a need in the market, then that is what would move me to get into that space. And, and I just love the ability to solve problems. Hmm. That's what I love most about being an entrepreneur is that we get to help people solve problems. Yeah. And so I've done so many things various from uh, expos to I owned a restaurant. I had a fitness center. Wow. I just I just love that space of yes. going in and creating and building and you just really learn so much as an entrepreneur. And and so for 30 years, I've been 1099 out there just grinding and, and meeting people like you and making things happen. Yeah. So uh, when, whenever I first met you, you were you were uh, Girls Gone Forex. Uh -huh. uh, it was through the Black Chamber of Commerce, too. It was, yeah. Uh, yeah, so that was, so we worked together on the Girls Gone Forex project mm -hmm. and, and then Trade All Markets and then came Evolve Business Center after this. So, hey. so give, let's go a little bit more in detail about that path into Evolve Business Center mm -hmm. and w what specifically are you guys, um, what needs are you guys meeting? So what happened, it's, it's, it's a great question, Barry's, because the pandemic is really um, how uh, Evolve Business Development Center came about. Mm. Uh, I was talking to a young lady in the community, and one of the things that she said was that the businesses were able to get funding. So the Inland Empire, San Bernardino County is the largest county in the United States, right? Yes. And she said she was really frustrated because she would get these businesses money but when she would come back two or three years from now, they had not scaled. Wow. Wow. Now, right at this time, my business partner, who you know, Curtis, Curtis. Witt, Curtis has been an executive with Boeing over 25 years. Yeah. yeah. During the pandemic, they asked him if he wanted to take an early retirement. And I mm -hmm. kind of, you know, nudged him. Curtis yes. and I have known each other for 30 years now. And so... Uh, I nudged him to do that and he was teaching a course to um, my database which is yes. you know is really important so Absolutely. he was teaching this course about how to buy businesses now Curtis used to fly they used to fly him around the country for Boeing and he would go in and help them save money he would take a look at you know what was going on with different offices and help them save money okay. so when he showed this in the class I got a huge aha moment because as a 30 year entrepreneur, I never had anybody come to me and show me the things that Curtis was teaching. Yes. And I know that sounds kind of like how, how could, how could you not have this information? Yes. But it was the same thing that the young lady said to me when she said, well, these companies are getting money, but they're still going out of business. They're going out of business. Yes. Yes. When I, when I was in Curtis's class, I was like, oh my God, this is the answer. This is mm. why they're still having challenges. And this is why the pandemic is so damaging. It's been so damaging to a lot of these businesses because right. this information that he, he was giving us. Yes. I never heard of it, honestly. Mm. In 30 years, I never, wow. I never had anybody break down our business the way he did. And so yes. literally <laughs> wow. in months i said curtis we got to start a nonprofit. we have to get the word yes. out to these businesses and that's how yeah. evolved business development started well man i i think this is like what you guys are doing is desperately needed for mm -hmm. a lot of these small businesses smes yeah. and startups you know because you mentioned the word you know scaling scaling a business and mm -hmm. having those business systems that Curtis teach teaches, like I think that's huge. And and I've been into your you know into the classes that Curtis teaches, mm -hmm. and I've listened to some of the YouTube videos as well. And it's gold. It's gold information that yeah. small businesses 
they don't normally get because you get bits and pieces of it everywhere. <laughs> yeah. You don't normally yep. get like a full comprehensive overview of, you know, like from A to Z mm -hmm. of the, the types of business systems that you need to not only be brick and mortar, but to go virtual and 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 pull out that extra revenue and and make your business more and more valuable yeah so i mean i i, I believe in what you guys are doing yeah. uh, a lot i i do have a question with regard uh -huh. to um um what you guys are doing do you know of any others in the space that are doing something similar to you guys honestly there is in this yeah. region at all or no not not to the degree that we take it yeah so yes. let me give you an example when curtis taught innovation yes. see innovation is really what's going on inside your head yes okay, okay. so when yes. we say innovation we're sometimes thinking about technology or things like that but innovation is how you think mm. how you yes. process how yes. you think and hey, here's what Curtis would teach us. It's not really how you think outside the box. It's how do you think inside the box? Okay, okay. Okay, closed world environment. How do, how do I deal with, because I'm in that box, right? Right, right. So how do, how do I create something with what I have? Mm, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So innovation alone changed everything for me because mm. I wasn't given the skills to think in the way so it's it's a it's a pretty it. much like a um three or four hour in in our uh, free workshops that we do yes where you go through innovation and something in your brain clicks you're like oh my god why didn't i think about that well why didn't i do this it's almost like you i don't know if you ever watched the show macgyver did you ever yeah, watch MacGyver? i loved macgyver oh my yeah yeah it's like that it so, really is. So you guys are giving people the MacGyver formula. Absolutely. In their Absolutely. Business. I love oh it. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. And it's because here's the thing, Darius. If you get money, money becomes like a band-aid if you don't know mm. how to think. Right? Right. Right. And I'm not talking rah rah, huh? You know, you gotta no 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 no. Yeah. No. I'm talking about using your brain to come up with solutions to problems mm. and being able to integrate that with things like technology, with things yeah. like, so it's a bigger picture. So I haven't, I haven't seen anyone do anyone it the way this. we do it. Yeah, not the way we do it, no. I love it. So, so at this point where you guys are, um, you've had, how many workshops have you, do, you guys done uh, at this point? I know you we've guys done, done quite a few. Yeah, we've done four workshops. Okay. And the next one is going to be on Zoom. Okay. Because we now have clients across the U.S., right? Yes. yes. So we started out working with the Black Chamber of Commerce. Yes. Uh, Shout out to the Black Chamber of Commerce. Exactly. And Tammy, <laughs> she's doing Tammy. a great job. We did um, a couple at Ampac Business Capital. Shout out to Impact Business Capital. Absolutely. Shout out uh, to Hilda and to um, and Brian. her son. Right, exactly. Yeah. Amazing, amazing opportunity. And so we're going to continue doing those free workshops. Awesome. So those okay. workshops are free. Yes. But what you get is you get an idea. We stretch your brain mm. and we show you things and numbers that um, the best example I can give you. So you want Shark Tank? I love Shark Tank. Yes, absolutely. Okay. I watch it. But have you, I know it's, you know, a lot of it is for entertainment purposes, but have you ever yeah. wondered how they come up with those evaluations? I, I personally, yes. In the beginning, I, I was not as familiar with it, but now I'm more mm -hmm. familiar with it. But yes, right. absolutely. A, a lot of business owners don't know the evaluation of their business. I know that's, you know, that is true. Mm -hmm. Because... Yeah. As an entrepreneur, you're so gung ho just to get into the market, and you know you're not really thinking about creating a business. You right. know, right? Yeah. yeah. So, so if you don't know the evaluation of your business, and we learned this from some of the business brokers that we work with, they are like, 
hey, it's just our job to, to list them, but we can tell you that their evaluation is totally wrong. Or they're wow. plucking it from thin air, right? They're, yes. they're like, oh, I want to sell my business for $200,000. Okay, well, where'd you get that from? Yeah. So the information that we do during the workshop is to really help you understand where you are and where you have, where are these gaps? Things that you probably didn't even know you should you should have been looking at. You should have been uh, yeah. taking those numbers and breaking them down and or yeah. building your business up because what does the EMF say, uh, various? Only two reasons to have a business, right? One yes. is to grow it. Grow it. The other is to sell it. To sell it, yes. Two okay. reasons, that's right, it. Right, right, right. Yeah, no, that's good. And the E-Myth is a great book business owners if you guys have never heard heard of the email you need to check that out absolutely the inland empire startup ecosystem industry is tremendously fragmented a few top tier hubs san francisco los angeles and san diego are well covered by media events, and data platforms. Finding reliable information relevant to startups or the tech industry in the Inland Empire is extremely difficult. As a result, startups can't scale fast enough. Investors are having a hard time finding the right deals, and corporates can't find the right companies to partner with for their innovation activities. Start Empire Wire, the leading Inland Empire startup publication is providing the Inland Empire startup ecosystem with the most accurate, engaging business and financial data, events, and news. Our reach of entrepreneurs, C-level executives, angels, VC investors, startup employees, key management at innovative corporates, and big tech is the solution for your B2B or B2C needs. As we build out our platform, we're looking for partners. This is your opportunity to get in on the ground level. If you're looking to align yourself with the local and growing startup and tech ecosystem of the Inland Empire, we have created the platform to get your name noticed and the opportunity for you to grow the recognition of your brand. Contact us today for availability and pricing options. We look forward to our partnership with you. So, um, at, at this point in, in you guys, um, in your journey, uh -huh. um, what are some of the growing pains, you know, from getting started till now that you guys have experienced and the big, in, in this time? Yes. Okay. So the biggest, that was easy because the biggest one is awareness. Awareness. Uh, yes. A lot of time businesses don't know what they don't know. Yes. So they don't realize that they even have a problem. Mm, okay? Right. Yes. If you've been doing things a certain way for a long time, mm -hmm. and somebody comes to you and says, hey, you know what? You're really, if you're trying to get to your goal, you're going to have a hard time getting there if you continue to do things the way you've been doing them, right? Mm, yes. So how do you know you have a problem if you don't understand <laughs> the symptoms of those problems, right? True, true. So the awareness, we partnered with the chamber because of course the chamber has business people there. Yes. Um, but for small businesses, particularly what we call the disadvantaged business, mm -hmm. a lot of people created a business so that they could um, leave their job. Let's just say that, okay? Okay. Yes. But all you did is create another job for yourself if you don't run that business the right way. Created another job. Yes. It, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, so true. when we break it down, we break it down and we look at that. Look, it was this was this your plan? Was your plan to to just create another job and now you're working more hours than you yes. were on your job and you knew how much money you were getting? Right. So how right. do we how do we build a business that you really can create another buzzword? generational wealth generational wealth create generational wealth if you don't create 
your business, the foundation in a certain way. And a lot of business owners, mom and pop in particular, that's not a popular thing for them to hear. Yeah, I know we're, we're both in uh, a, a couple of groups on Facebook where we know that, you know, th this is such a valuable uh, uh, course for these business owners. Like, what is it, the Black Riverside County? Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. That that group, shout out to that group. It's, <laughs> but yeah, this, I, I really... So you're saying self-awareness, the business mm -hmm. owners don't have as much self-awareness as needed. Not at okay. all. And I, okay. I, I, and I understand why though. Here's the okay. thing, I understand why. Right. Because if if you have not, that, what's that saying? You don't know what you don't know? You don't know what you don't know. Yes, absolutely. Well, when you hear someone saying, hey, I want you to look at doing things in a different way. I want you to learn how to become an absentee owner. Um, I want mm. you to learn how to uh, create a business that you don't have to be there every day to run. A lot of small business owners want to be there because they feel like they lose control if they're not, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. And and that's a problem. You can't scale yourself, you know? So no. you guys are doing an amazing job with uh, helping these business owners become self-aware so that Absolutely. they can scale. Okay. Right. I love it. Yeah. Okay, so tell tell us about some of the current needs of Evolve Business Center. You know, um, how you know how have you what are you, what are those needs, and then what are some of the efforts you guys are taking to meet those needs, or are if you are want to need to connect with some people, what what are some mm -hmm. of those needs right now? I would say. Um companies or organizations, more so organizations that have access to small business owners. Yes. The education piece is a big part of it, is people um, sharing that information, being mm -hmm. open to come and at least hear what it is, because our workshops are free. Yeah. And so you have nothing to lose by coming in or, t or this, particular, um, this particular one, you'll be able to go on Zoom Zoom. But okay. at least come with an open mind to learn about your business. Right. And so these organizations, other chambers, there's lots of chambers throughout, you know, we're here in the Inland Empire, yeah, there's Empire. lots of meetup groups, of course you, with what yes. you're doing here. It's really to just spread the word and to yeah. say, look, why don't you check this out? It might be for you, it might not, it might be too advanced, or you may be on a different level. But yes. at least be open to the information. That's what I would right. say for people to share. Yeah. Okay. So building that brand awareness throughout this region is Absolutely. a big is a big thing that you guys need at this moment. Okay. Very big. Very big. Okay. Okay. We we can help. <laughs> yes, All you right. can, and you yes. have helped. I really okay. appreciate you, Barry. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. So tell us about some of your short term goals. I would say uh -huh. the top two short-term goals that you guys have right now outside of brand awareness uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, for what you're doing with Evolve Business Center? So what we're doing right now is we're building coaches. Oh, okay. Yeah. We're building coaches. I have yes. about uh, five of them right now. Okay. And I'm awesome. turning those coaches into networking machines. <laughs> I love it. Oh, yes. <laughs> so, so we, our coaches are across the U.S. too, which is a beautiful thing. So okay. uh, I'm, tr I'm showing them how the power of networking. Yeah. You, Robin, people should know that you are the consummate networker. You are very you. amazing at networking. So I, I appreciate that, Barry. Yeah. And, and I was sharing something with someone because, you know, you're one of our strategic partners and that's. Yes one of the things that we do too we have a number of strategic partners because you can't do this by yourself oh no you can't yeah. you can't do everything absolutely um, and so their coaches i'm turning them into what i've been doing for 30 years and that is that's networking awesome. right wow yes so yes. that's what we're doing that's our first and i have i have a really big audacious goal i and love my it goal there is okay is to have 5,000 coaches across the United States. I love it. That's yeah. no. So, so this is going to be kind of like the street 
team. I, I, yep. Yeah, I love it. So yeah. what is that? What are some of the things that are included in mm-hmm. being a, um, a coach, a, a, a coach and a networker? Uh-huh. Uh, what, what's included in that, Robin? And how can people find out how to become one of those? So the first thing we do is put them through our course because the course really opens up. It's a 12 week course and it opens up your mind to different strategies for helping business owners. Okay. So let me give you an example. So we have a client that you and you've been there. Cafe Organics is one of our clients. I love it. Yeah. And the beautiful thing. Yeah. (laughs) The beautiful thing about having them is that they're looking at expansion, right? Okay. Well, when we show people how to buy a business, instead of them building something from the ground floor up, Mm -hmm. we go show them how to get a discounted because there's tons of businesses for sale because the baby boomers are retiring, right? I want to talk more about that too, but keep going, keep going. So we're able to go in and um, advise and give them different strategies and we do strategy sessions where they have to do the homework also. That's what our coaches are gonna be doing. Okay. So our coaches will follow my lead and they'll partner with ch- different chambers of commerce. Yes. And then we will come in and we'll do those workshops either in person or by Zoom. Yes. And we'll get the business owners to really understanding that if they really want to build their business, there's some some things that they've got to do from the foundation moving forward. Mm. So, so you guys, when you go in with these business owners, you're helping them strategize to kind of rebuild a new foundation. There you go. Yeah. That's it. Okay. And here's the other thing, Marius. The reason. I'm so excited about what we're doing is because American business is the foundation. They're, small yes. business owners are the foundation of America, right? That's that's so true. The the so, economic engine. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. You, we, we are the foundation of yeah. this country, correct? Yep. Absolutely. So if our businesses fail, then we look at a failing economy too, right? Yes. So we have to look at that area and see what can we do different? How do we empower? And look, here's the thing. Yes. A lot of businesses are afraid of the digital space, NFTs, mm. Mm. Um, Meta, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So we come in with programs to show them how to move into that space. All the newest technologies web three and and they, yes so you guys tell us a little bit about what what are you guys doing within the metaverse and what are you uh-huh. doing a little bit with web with uh with uh nfts right now okay so i'll start with the nft so when you go through our course our course is actually an nft okay so uh. we uh, we <laughs> built a community around that nft right. so you get the course you get access to all of our strategic partners we built a community because here's the mm. thing um social media there's so much coming at you right like, absolutely how do you know what's good or what's valuable or what's going to work for you right that's true so we have people that we vet it like you mm-hmm. like other people we work with heartland which is a fortune 500 company yes. and so within our nft community not only do you get access to the courses that we teach, you get access to Curtis, you get access yes. to me, you get access yeah. to becoming a coach. Yes. All within that NFT community. Wow. Okay. So wow. we built a membership, kind of, kind of like what Gary V did. What with Gary V did. Yeah. Right. Right. So, so are you guys limited on your NFTs? Did you limit them, uh, or, or it's just there's is not a limited amount of NFTs that you guys created? Two hundred. Two hundred. Oh. Two hundred. Are, mm-hmm. are they all gone? Not yet. We just yet. literally released the NFT about a month ago. Okay. About a month. Yeah. And and so we have about 16 already. That's that, awesome. Yeah. Heck and yeah. so now when people go through the here's here's a beautiful thing. It's a lifetime membership. So once you go through the course and let's say you decide that you want to coach businesses, you want to um, be a business coach. 
Yes. Then you're going to have access to all of our strategic partners, our our business credit, our uh, people like you with what you do, um, yes. HR, payroll. We have all of that in one place. So you don't have to get distracted yes. or sidetracked with people saying, oh, I do this and, and, and I can help you with that. No, we've built a community of experts. Yeah. Who can everything support you and support business. Yeah, everything's available with that. So that's the NFT part. But also within that, we do what we call brick to meta. So if okay. you are a, you have a retail location, <clears throat> part of the problem, again, various that we saw, mm -hmm. the, all COVID did was bring to our attention what was going on. And, and here's the reality I mean, how, who knew that something like that was going to happen? But so, you know what the no. problem is? Yeah. We weren't prepared. We weren't. No, nobody was, right? We weren't prepared. But you could have been if could've you had been. used innovation. That's true. That's true. You used innovation. Yeah. So well, we uh, especially in, like the brick and mortar stores, right? That part. Yeah. 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 Mm. They weren't. Here's the thing. When, um, when, when business is good, like I don't know if you've looked in, a, in restaurants, when business is good, you'll see like five or six people standing up at the front, right? At the hostess right. station, you'll see. Because business is good. You got all these people coming in, right? Right. But we never prepare for what if something happens, right? Yes, it, yeah. It always takes a pandemic, uh, mm. something like 9-11, yes. uh, recession. Right. Business owners can't think like that anymore. You've oh. got to stay ahead of the game. You've got to use innovation to think about, well, yes. what else can I do with this business? You can't That's just right. wait until there's a catastrophe for you to try to figure your way out of it. No, that's, you that's gotta, it. yeah, you got to do something different. So, so you guys are helping these businesses proactively use innovation mm -hmm. and come at what's, what, what possibly may be coming at them, uh, in the future. Various. I, let, let me tell you how serious this is. So yeah. I had a, I had someone call me that has a bakery in Michigan. Now here I'm in California, but they have a bakery in Michigan. Uh -huh. And that bakery's been around for 30 years. 30 okay. years. Wow. And in addition to things like the pandemic, we have what the great resignation, right? Yep. Okay. So they're hurting all the way around. But after I got done talking to the owner, yeah, literally one phone call, I said, "I'm gonna give you. Let me give you a couple of freebies right now. Let me let me tell you. Have you thought about this? Yes. And I said, and if I can prove that this will work, would you keep the business or would you sell it? He said, I would keep it, but right now I just want to sell it because I'm over it. Mm. Wow. That's what innovation does yes. you take a look at the landscape just like MacGyver yeah yeah and you figure out what can I do to change my current situation yeah right that's step one yes right okay. and now now I've got a, a possible client because whereas he was literally pulling his hair out I gave him one thing that made him think maybe he could keep the business that's hope, man. That, that's that's like hope too, you mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. because people sometimes they just can't see a way out. Right. And with and with innovation, they can see. Okay, yeah. maybe this could bring mm -hmm. in. That's that's amazing. Yeah. 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 So tell us about two, actually three of your mm -hmm. long term goals for Evolve Business Center. So our long-term goal is to um, have three years. Least... What? Let's just say three years, <laughs> three years, five years, and ten years. Three oh, years, five okay. years, and three ten years. 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 Okay. So within three years, it is to have a regional director in okay. each of the states that okay. we'll be having our coaches working in. So that's the goal. So within the nice. three-year period, I'll be coaching and I'll be training our next wave, our, our new wave, which is actually our first layer of coaches, right? Oh, yes, yes, yes. So so that's what we'll be doing there. Um, the next one is five, did you say five, five? Five years, yeah. All right, so within five years, our goal is to have 
those 5,000 coaches uh-huh. that I told you about, yes. to have those 5,000 coaches coaching businesses in their area and coaching those business to create, to 10X their business, to get them in from, from a small business yeah. to a medium to large business. Mm. 10X, okay. I, love, I love the 10X. We're gonna, we're gonna 10X those businesses. <laughs> okay. And did you say 10 years? 10 years, that's a long time, but I mean, it's so, really not that long. Oh, no, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm okay for that. So in 10 years, we will, now they understand there's a ton of these businesses out there for sale. So in 10 years, mm. our goal is to have, to own in excess of 5,000 businesses as a yeah. company. Yes. And to be on the cover of Fortune magazine. Hey, yes. <laughs> uh, I love it. I love the goal. I love I love that goal. Fortune. Yeah. Bloomberg that's too. Right. That's right. That's right. That's <clears> right. <throat> so And you know what they'll be saying, Darius? Yes, tell us. Evolve Business Development Center helped put America back to work. Woo! I love it. That's mm-hmm. what we need. We really that do need, need that. Because yeah, we do. at this point, with all the talk and all the news, we people need hope. You know, yeah. especially the entrepreneurs, the, the business owners, they need to see that, you know, regardless of what's going on, there's hope, there's yes. innovation out Absolutely. there. Absolutely. And Absolutely. with innovation, they can they can move and continue to grow even in a time of contraction. We took a young lady who was driving Uber. Yes. And she closed, she went a, um she took one of our first classes and she closed on an 11 station nail salon in North Carolina. She didn't put up any money. Wow. In fact, she got $5,000 back at closing. Wow. Yeah, she is a she is a we we do a lot of creative financing innovation. I love it. Um, yes. Yeah. So we solve problems. Yes. We yes. solve problems, particularly no, in the small business space. We solve problems. And, and we didn't go in as much into what you guys do with the business acquisition part. Mm-hmm. I, mm-hmm. That's see, that's the other part that I really believe in, and I really, you know, like I'm glad you guys are bringing this to the table because. Mm-hmm. A lot of people they look around and they want to start a new business yeah they don't need to there's so many businesses that they can buy right absolutely so, so can you just uh, describe a little bit more what mm-hmm. you guys do with helping people uh like do like mergers and acquisition absolutely okay. so that's our for-profit side so we have evolved business development which is the education side and that's the piece that gets people aware Yes. Then we move over to TAM Elite Institute, which okay. is the where we show we actually have the courses to show you how to do merger and acquisition. Yes. Which is part of buying businesses. Here's what's going on. Baby boomers, of which I am one. Yes. Uh, baby boomers are retiring. Mm-hmm. They are they have businesses that have been in existence 10, 20, 30 years, right? Yes. Uh, we know that baby boomers this was a, the, the largest uh, segment. I think the millennials might be passing it, but there's a lot of business owners. That, we're talking about trillions of dollars. It's going to be a really big transfer of wealth. Yes. The problem is only 3% of their children want to take over their business. Mm. Only 3%. So they're not selling these businesses because they're not successful. They're selling businesses because they want to retire. They're ready yes. to retire. Yeah. And so there are, it, I believe it's in the trillions that these businesses That's across huge. the U.S. So what we do is um, through the NFT, which is part of TAM Elite Institute, mm-hmm. we actually have a team that evaluates the business. So you don't even have to do that. We show you how That's to do awesome. it, but you don't, you don't even have to do it. Don't even need to do it. So... We come in and we just think about like in real estate, we put a facelift on that new, on that business. Yes. So we end up helping the business owner get what they want, which is to sell the business. Uh huh. Sometimes they want, uh, most of the time they, it was like their baby. So they really mm. are particular in, in selling their business, right? Yes. Yes. We come in and we don't change the name. 
we continue with the legacy that they built. Sometimes yes. they continue on with the business as an investor. Yes. But we are doing that merger and acquisition. That's and me. we're showing our students how to do this. And like you said, how to be profitable day one. Day one. You day can one. buy a business that's already making a profit, already got a database, already got clients, already very successful. Yeah. And you can come in. And, and a lot of these are exactly what we want. They're absentee owners. Absentee so you, owners. Yeah. So you literally are coming in now. Okay. So think about this. If they yeah. built these businesses 10 or 20 years ago, and now we're going into the digital space or Realm, into yeah. the meta. Meta. Yeah. Who, who better to come in and, and do that and add that extra piece to that existing business that's already been successful? You're, you're creating, number one, you're, you're creating, um, people who are asset owners now, Absolutely. you know, like you're, you're, I, I love it. So, so you taking, you know, what you guys are doing is like, you're making, it's really amazing. Yeah. It's, mm -hmm. it's amazing because a, a, a business that has absentee owners, uh, -huh. uh, that's a huge asset. You, you take that, you purchase that it becomes another stream of revenue for a business owner. So yep. with the, with the Uber driver who acquired the, the mm -hmm. nail, you said how many nail salons were in that? It was an 11 station nail 11 salon station, in North Carolina. Carolina. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, wow. So, I mean, okay. So like, um, you take something like that, an 11 station nail salon, like they've got station, 11 stations in it. Mm -hmm. Each person is making what, how much probably four or $500 a day or something like that. I don't know. Um, but you multiply that by, and then subtract the expenses she's coming out like two or three thousand dollars extra a month exactly like that. exactly that's exactly. awesome i love yeah. it man so now now what we do is we show her how to add what we call a digital twin to it okay okay so heaven forbid you know we get shut down again right oh man how Don't do you want keep it. your how do you keep your money coming in the digital twin <laughs> <laughs> right so so like the e-commerce part and any type of web three web three stuff that that's exactly. relevant exactly I love it exactly yeah so this that's is it. okay so people really need to get plugged in with you guys because i feel like y'all are the plug <laughs> for, <laughs> for mergers and acquisitions and for yeah. business scaling scaling your business people need to connect in with you so mm -hmm. tell 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 us uh, where can people find your, you know, information about your startup on the internet and okay. then what's your website, social media profiles, any and all information and yeah. upcoming events as well, too. Exactly. So real easy. Evolve without the E. We're E-V-O-L-V biz, B-I-Z dot org. When you go to the site, everything is on the site. We touch, we show you when we take reservations for our next event. Um, you can contact me and set up an appointment if you want to just talk. Um, everything is literally on the site. We're on LinkedIn. Yes. We're on Facebook, Twitter, yes. Alignable, we're everywhere. Okay. And so uh, it's real easy to find us. It's real easy to find me because various you know I'm all oh, over yeah. the internet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, send me a friend request and um again the workshop the workshop that's coming up is June the fourth. So June, June the fourth. Okay. Yeah, we have a, a workshop and it's all on Zoom. Oh it's all We're on Zoom. On okay. YouTube. So you can take a look at one of our YouTube videos and, and see if it piques an interest with you. Yes. But again, you don't really have anything to lose, right? Because no. You can you can listen in and hear what it is that we're doing and then make a decision if you want to move forward. Awesome. So I do believe, let's see, we have one other interview before you. So I think they'll see this before June the 4th. Okay. Um, we, but if not, they can always go to evolvebiz.org. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to find the next event so absolutely and you guys are on twitter instagram all those places everywhere okay awesome. even tiktok 
TikTok. Even TikTok. Even TikTok. Even Already TikTok. on TikTok. Man. <laughs> so, yes, I love it. So, uh, Robin, thank you so much for coming on the Founders Podcast. This, this wraps it up for the interview. Ladies and gentlemen, get in contact with Robin uh, for get to one of the Evolve Biz this web uh workshops uh you can go to the virtual ones they even have some do you guys have some in person still or no uh um, any any plan we don't we won't have another one in person for a few months for a few months I'm, okay yeah i'm always out there attending events here in the inland empire and then I'm, awesome. like i said i'm everywhere on social media so okay so she yeah she'll be at some of the events that we announced through the you know weekly wide roundup but once again, I want to thank you, Robin, for coming on. And I know people are going to uh, be able to take advantage of everything that you share with us. Go ahead. Uh, do you have any last things you want to uh, say to the audience? No, just thank you, Various. You've been um, always helpful and one of our strategic partners. Yes. And the best thing I can say is, look, it's about building community. It's yes. about networking. Your network is your net worth. And mm, so yes. if you're curious and stay curious, people, if you don't know something, at least stay curious to find out because things are moving at a rapid, rapid uh, pace. Mm. And like I said earlier, let's help get America back to work. That's what we need to do. Yes. Awesome. Thank you guys for tuning into the Founders Podcast. We'll see you on the next episode. Peace.